Hi there, welcome back to Ingvid. Today we're doing a pronunciation lesson. Um, it's particularly designed for Russian speakers who uh, I had some experience of working in a language school this summer and they were mistakes that I noticed from uh, some of the Russian speaking folks. But it was, it's also a lesson to really drill pronunciation for speakers of um, first languages, if it's Spanish, French, um, German, whatever your first language is, it will be a useful lesson for you. So uh, do stay tuned and let's work on crystal clear, crisp pronunciation for all of you. Okay, we're just gonna be looking mainly at consonant noises, sounds today, um, and then a little bit on how we use our pitch to suggest that what we are saying is a question. Is that right? Yes, it is. So, first of all, the difference between T and D. T, 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 t. Okay, I'm flicking my tongue along the roof of my mouth. T, t. Okay, but when I do D, 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 I'm making more of a sound. D, D, D. Okay, t, t, t. it's kind of without the force of my breath, but when I do D, D, Duh. I put more weight behind it. Duh. Okay. So we're going to do this side and then this side. Please repeat after me. Ten. Den. Ten. Den. Try. Dry. Latter. Ladder. Whiter. Wider. Bent, bend. Mate, made. Good. I'm sure you, you all know the meanings of this. Obviously the number 10, den is like an outdoor little house. Try, put in effort. Dry, the opposite of wet. Latter, as in the last. Uh, ladder, to climb up. Whiter teeth than you. Wider than him. Bent. Bend, the process, the verb of bending. Mate, my friend, made in Chelsea. Okay, uh, where something is produced. Now, uh, we're looking particularly at the dark L, the stronger L, L, L. So it's a sound that I make quite back in my mouth. L, L. Again, the tongue is kind of doing that, but it's back in my mouth, l. Whereas r, 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 it's further forward, further forward, l, l, r, r. See what my mouth is doing, r, okay, r, r. It's kind of opening and coming down, r. Let's practice here, load, road. Load, road. Lice, rice. Liver, river. Fly, fry, fry. This is a difficult one because you've got the F followed by the R. F, r, f, 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 f. So I'm using my bottom lip down here. F, flicking it up to the top lip. F, fry, fry, fry. Belly, Berry, belly, berry. Okay, so that dark L and the R. I also noticed some difficulty with the nasal, the nose sound, mmm. Okay, when I do that mmm sound, I should feel vibration here in my nose. Mmm. Have a go at home. Mmm. Okay, make focus that noise out here through your nose. And let's go for sing, okay? Feel the vibration in your nose. Ring, bring, fling, thing. Again, let's check the meaning. Sing, obviously singing a song. Ring on my finger. Bring me a cake. Fling a pen. Throw also means romance, a fling. And thing is, is an object, okay? Now, 
we're on to th. Okay, oh, oh, just uh, having a bit of a malfunction of the old wardrobe. Don't worry, my trousers aren't falling down. We're, we're okay, we're okay. Now, obviously, there's no th sound in, in the Russian alphabet, so it's going to be particularly difficult for Russians. Th, th. So, my lip is going to my upper jaw and to the front teeth. They, they. Okay, make sure your tongue comes right forward to the tip of your teeth. They, they. And it just nestles under there, under your teeth. They, they, day. They, day. There, dare. Thy, die. Then, den. Southern, sudden. Okay, let's do it one more time. They, day. <sighs> Misspelling. Day. That sounds like a kind of Jamaican phrase. Day people over there, man. They well silly. In. Okay, but I actually mean day with an A. Okay. There, dare. Thy, die. Then, den. Southern, sudden. Sudden meaning quick. It happens fast. This, I think, is probably the biggest mistake that, that Russian speakers would make, is the confusion between w and v. W, v, vibration here in the lips. V, and release. V, release. West, vest. Went, vent. Wire, via. This is a really confusing one, wire and via. Also for German speakers, this is relevant. Wary, very. Wiper, viper. Okay? W and V. Feel the vibration here. W. Okay? Watch what I'm doing. W. Now, with my questions, the tendency, if you were a perhaps a Russian speaker is asking a question, do you like me? Do you like me? Okay, so it's going down. Whereas we need to go up when we ask a question. Would you like to be my friend? Okay, so it leaves you a bit vulnerable. It's like, oh, see me. You have to put the emphasis up at the end. So would you like to do my quiz at the end of the lesson? Yeah? I have to go up. Um, not all the time, but it just don't go down. Don't drop it down. Lift it. Make a question. And with our tone, particularly for sort of uh, hard people from Eastern Europe and Russia, remember that we're a polite nation here in Britain, and we, we like to say things politely. So imagine another little phrasal verb that you are stepping on eggshells. You know, eggs, shells, they're, they're quite fragile. Us British people, we're just a bit fragile. So just pretend that, you know, that uh, we might easily collapse. <laughs> okay, so um, that is my uh, little lesson on pronunciation, particularly for Russian speakers. The difference between T and D, L and R, N, through the nose. Th. Remember, tongue touching the bottom of those teeth. D, w, v. I mean, these are all things that you have to practice. You're not just going to go, oh yeah, that's how I do it. And then you walk out and you can do it for the next eight years. You do have to practice, become conscious of the sound you need to make and the sound you are making and keep, keep thinking, am I making the right sound? Okay, you need to keep on paying attention, being conscious of it. Yeah, conscious. Okay, questions can go up. Tone, nice and gentle. Thank you very much for watching. Do check out the quiz on ingvid.com. And would you like to be my subscriber? If so, uh, you're very welcome. See you next time. Bye.